All right, so Grant Lillard <laughs> hails from Hinsdale, and now he's one of the star players for the Chicago Fire, our proud MLS soccer team here in Chicago. And he's here this morning to chat about a very fun interactive pop-up that involves a team. Good morning, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. This Thanks is like for two hanging days. with us. Bright and early. Yeah, bright and early. Yeah, right? It's like two a days, you know, getting up early for <laughs> practice and practicing later on in the afternoon. Absolutely. So this is your first year with the Chicago Fire. Obviously, you're very familiar with Chicago growing mm -hmm. up here in Hinsdale. But what was the experience like to be a professional athlete in the city you grew up in? You know, it's, a, it's an unbelievable feeling. Uh, you know, it's one of those things as a kid you dream about. Uh, it's one of those things where you look up and you're watching the game. And you know, as a kid, and you're at the game and you're like, wow, look at those guys. Those are the pros. Those are what I want to be like. That's what I want to do with my life. So, so how, when you were a kid, how did you go from first being interested in soccer to like becoming a soccer star? Right. You know, it's a long process. It's a journey. Um, you know, you have a, a lot of steps you have to progress along the way, um, just different levels that you can take your game to. And then uh, once you finally make that realization that you're at the, the professional level, you know, it's a it's an humbling feeling because you're playing with guys like Basti and Dax, who are just amazing talents. And I get the opportunity to learn every single day. And it's amazing. Okay, so he's giving us the canned answers because Grant. he's very polished. Yeah. He's an athlete. I get it. I used to be in that position. Not at your level, though. But Grant, break it down for me. For real, man. What's it like? You are a professional athlete here walking around. What's changed the most for you? I know you were stud at IU during your four years there, and they had a hell of a program on the national level. Right. What's it like now? I mean, you're the guy. How yeah. cool is okay. that? Yeah, it is the life. You know, if you're going to get me talking a little <laughs> yeah, bit, I'll talk. Come on, you know, man. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm young, I'm in Chicago, I'm playing professional soccer. It's a dream, it's a dream come true. has got the smile going. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not a bad life, you know? What would people be surprised <laughs> to know about it? Um, you know, there's a lot of downtime that you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a, you have your, uh, your routine where you wake up, you have your breakfast, you go to training, and you finish up your day around one or two. And you have that whole rest of the afternoon you kind of got to, Take care of yourself. Make sure you're getting full -time ready for job. It. it's a full-time job. It's not. not well, spot see, that's, yeah, but that's you, what normally think, normally but. you hit another you hit another workout. Maybe you go for a swim. Um, you gotta take care you take of yourself. Take it easy. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. All about well, not care only take care of yourself, you're taking care of the city. You guys got a really cool, fun experience. Can mm -hmm. you share with people, fill them in on kind of what you got going on? Right. So I've actually uh, I've been to the pop-up shop. It's on a uh, magnificent mile. It's okay. really easy to get to. Um, it's a really fun, interactive uh, shop. There are little games you can play when you walk in. Um, so it's really a, a unique experience for our fans that can come in and uh, you know mess around with some of the fun merchandise we have. I know they have like special deals and everything. Take a look. There uh, it yeah, is. check it out. We got some swag over there, man. It's some good stuff. You so should check it out. You talk about the swag there, and it can be found at 400 North Michigan. It's mm -hmm. actually running through January. So mm -hmm. games, custom jerseys, souvenirs. Grant, I, I'm listening to you talk, but I'm kind of my eye is wandering towards. Something yeah, you got so, here on the you know, desk, my friend. Got, uh, it's the holiday season. I can't, I can't just promise the goods and not give you guys anything. Okay, here right? we go. So here we go. We got some specially made Chicago Shit. Fire jerseys. We what got one that? for each year. Okay, hold on. And he's got my that. old jersey number there. Oh, number. Back in the day when oh, I played. Reppin, oh, reppin. Yeah. 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 So Carly, awesome. Carly, you're not left out. We got Aww. one for you, too. Thank you so much. Here you go. Number one. I think we're going to change at the break and rock these. All right, there you go. Jordan. How about yeah, that? Yeah, you guys, you guys got no excuse not <laughs> to come kidding. now. I feel like great. an athlete again, Grant. Thank you very much. It's very rare that that happens for me. Got uh, one no, of these going no, in. I'm number one. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. Thanks. All right, so we, we covered the, the team. And, and actually, I want to ask you one more thing because people out there want to know, what can we yeah. expect this upcoming season from you guys? Well, you know, coming off a tough year, uh, we got a lot of uh, expectations on ourselves to come out and perform more for the fans. Um, so, you know, it's uh, one thing I learned about the league is that things can change very quickly. Um, you know, we have a, Atlanta is just a brand new team into the league and they're already winning an MLS Cup championship. So, you know, you can see that with just a few offseason signings, you can turn around a team, you can turn around a club. So we're really optimistic for our chances next year. Grant Bears have set a standard you got to live up to, man. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Chicago's winning again, baby. There you go. <laughs>